news alert for you. Nearly 20 years later, we could soon find out what happened to Natalie Holloway. The main suspect in her disappearance is expected to tell her family what happened to her in court tomorrow as part of a plea deal. As Shelby Rose joins us in the studio with an exclusive interview from EquiSearch founder Tim Miller, who has personally helped in that search for her. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the exact details of this plea bargain are not yet known. What sentence Joran Vandersloot will face in exchange for information on Natalie Holloway? But EquiSearch founder Tim Miller says he's hopeful they will make another trip to Aruba to find her. Been a long road, and uh, again, I remember the very first time I went to Aruba for the search for Natalie Holloway. Texas EquiSearch founder Tim Miller knows the Natalie Holloway case all too well. Personally traveling to Aruba nine different times, sometimes spending months searching for her. We was over there a long time on that one, and I think we covered almost every square inch in Aruba with all the foot searching and ground penetration, and, you know, we, we took every resource over there that, uh, that we had at the time, and uh, we would certainly do it again. But there's new hope. Her family will finally know where she is after all these years. Holloway went missing back in 2005. This was a girl from right here in Alabama, an American girl that went over there to uh, enjoy her high school graduation and, and something went terribly wrong. She was last seen leaving a bar with Joran Vandersloot and two others. They were questioned at the time, but let go because of a lack of evidence. A judge declared Holloway dead in 2012, but we have never known how she died or where her body is. I think this is the, the two things that Natalie's family has been wanting to know f since 2005. Vandersloot was indicted back in 2010 after he allegedly attempted to sell information about the whereabouts of Holloway's remains in exchange for $250,000. And now a plea deal has been reached. Her mother, Beth, specifically requested Miller to make the trip to Alabama to be there for the hearing. She sounded positive, and I think she, of course, knows more than she's saying right now and, and says uh, it looked like Wednesday. It's finally going to be over. Beth Holloway is keeping a tight lip on the exact specifics of the plea deal, but Miller says Vandersloot is expected to tell us where she is. Let's just hope he's honest about what he's saying and and hopefully uh, the family and the world get some answers. Now, Vandersloot is already behind bars, but not for Holloway. He was transferred in June to the United States from prison in Peru, where he was serving a 28 year sentence for the 2012 murder of a woman in a Lima hotel room. Reporting in studio, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News. Well, thank you, Shelby. I mean, it, I'm sure the family will be relieved once they finally get that information. And I hope they yes. do, because they've been close to getting the information over and over again. It would be such a relief for them. Thanks, of Shelby. Of course.